folks, this is Dunk with my personal interpretation of the block gladiator that blows things up on blood explosions. And as you can see here, this is monster level 81, this is tier 14, shaped reef map. And even here, monsters that attack me are just dying from attacking me. And that's something that I really like. Just to start with, this character, um, it's not a unique idea, I've checked that afterwards, after I created it, and uh, people had these ideas before, of course they had, because these are, um, it just comes to mind quite easily, and you can see, yeah, they're attacking me, and it doesn't really matter what they're doing, they're just slowly dying here, and I have to go out of that. Alright, anyways, let's see, how. what's that, what's the special, oh, I even took that. Right, um, this is a gladiator, it's a duelist, and my general idea in the beginning about that was I want to play something with shield. I had casters, I had uh, ranged uh, projectile characters, all nice and well, but I wanted to have something with a shield once again. And so I also thought I never played duelist, so let's take a duelist, see what it has, and it turn out it is something pretty decent that I want to share with you right now. And you have seen that I'm blocking a lot. I have Tempest Shield for increased block chance. And of course, monsters are dying because they're attacking me, just like that. Not even using my main skill in this case, which is Earthquake. Oh, there's Conk Effect in still. Doesn't matter. Alright, and. Oh, that's nice. Shape Courtyard. Hmm. Yeah, what's so special about that character? There's actually not so much special about it, because um, I'm actually using rare items besides the Belly of the Beast, Void Heart, and the Surrender. Surrender that gives life on block, which is very, very nice. It gives a decent amount of uh, armor as well. Armor is not the best defensive stat, but I'm stacking it, and once you've, you're stacking a reasonable amount of it, this was a lucky zombie. Uh, once you stack a reasonable amount of uh, armor, you actually get a decent damage reduction from that. Just mm, standing here defensively, 15k armor. It goes up to 22k on full buff with the lion's roar as well. And that's actually something very cool. Let's see. But I need a monster that attacks me and that causes me to block. Here, 22.3k. And yeah, that's that's when I blow things up here. And you can see the bleed is actually doing something here. And this is because in this patch bleed is still double dipping physical damage and this goes for the speciality of that. I'm going on the right side of the tree instead of the left side. Most guys are going on the left side of the tree for um, the block gladiator. I'm going on the right side which has several advantages actually and one is, the big one is... oh. This is a degen. Bleeding. Bleeding. That's that's doing a lot of damage. I have to be careful about that. Right. Um, I'm going on the right side because all the, or basically all the, uh, most of the generic physical damage increase nodes are on the right side of the tree. And at this time, uh, in patch 2.6, they are double dipping on the bleed damage because it buffs earthquake damage and after uh, you apply bleed with earthquake that bleed is again buffed by the physical damage so this is really really strong and uh, that's why i chose this route and in fact i'm having like roughly 200 percent increased life including some evasion rating increase and armor increase and this all stacks up to have pretty decent defenses i'm not 100 percent block capped I would go have to go for one additional shield block node like those three nodes maybe maybe I'm doing this maybe I'm not it doesn't really matter because it's, I have enough block chance actually that's uh, uh, 71 I have 71 on full buff because I get 8% from the ascendancy from this ascendancy here if once uh, if I get hit I get 8% increased block chance and tempest shield right here you can see that all right um, yeah and that's that's the big speciality about that I'm using red nightmare which is a very expensive gem here um, and in this position on the tree it's in my opinion it's the best position that you can possibly get for the red nightmare because you have 28% uh, increased fire resistance altogether that means 9% chance to block and the investment is like five or six um, skill points and the block alone that you get from that is worth um, easily 
easily six, seven, eight skill points on the tree, so that's already worth it. But you also get the resistances and you get the endurance charges and the sentinel also increases your evasion rating and armor. Now why I'm talking about evasion rating is because I'm using grace actually. I'm using grace because on the tree I have iron reflexes and uh, this combined iron reflexes turns evasion into armor and that's pretty nice. So yeah, uh, altogether I have a lot of armor, I have good block chance, I have a decent amount of life, I have reasonable damage as you can see here, map clear is pretty nice. Um, not even using my flasks here at the moment, I just let's run a bit fast for the boss. Uh, yeah, that's that's the big thing. The weapon choice that I uh, did is uh, here, Spirit Ruin, this is a tenderizer. It, I bought it for two exalts, uh, I slammed an exalt for the last prefix that was open. Turned out to be lightning damage, so it was crap, whatever. Um, but this is the expensive version. You can use Jack the X. This one here only has the skin of Jack the X. For, because you have Jack the X, which is extremely cheap, like one chaos, you have bleed all the time. That means you can remove Void Heart, and it means you can remove on the Ascendancy, the Blood in the Eyes, you don't need Blood in the Eyes in this case, and then you can go for a Violent Retaliation. I chose this route because I get like 25% uh, more damage from this Tenderizer, and this actually was worth to switch over. Also I get a little bit of poison here, but that doesn't really matter that much. But yeah, that's that's the basic idea about that. Uh, skills here, Increased Area, Earthquake, Melee Fizz, restoration melee damage on full life this is also very good and added fire damage because those two there's actually nothing better at the moment but in the next patch there's going to be skills that are better like brutality for example or actually the bleed gem that you can have then all right um the other things are yeah nothing special i use ancestral war chief for a bit damage and for the bosses uh, in the shield, the surrender that heals me when I hit something, uh, when something hits me or and gets blocked, and then I hit that stuff that was attacking me, and I heal for that. That's pretty cool because it's of life leech, life gain. That's it's helping a lot, as you have seen. Um, then I have a second curse because I bought this amulet for two exalts. Doesn't have to be. You don't really need the second curse, but it's nice to have it. It doesn't hurt. And the second curse, that's vulnerability, of course. Increased physical damage taken by the monsters, that's a very good buff if you need it. And uh, you only get it, that buff, when the monsters are cursed with that, and that's on Tempest Shield. So if you kill monsters so fast they can't attack you, they won't block, they won't get uh, vulnerability on them, but then you actually don't need it. Yeah, and then the curse for Frenzy Charges, Poacher's Mark. I'm using Poacher's Mark because this allows me to hit monsters um, even with a relatively low um, value on my um, on my chance to hit, and see this this here actually that's that's the situations that are the worst for that spec when you have bosses around. Bosses are not good, but it's still manageable. Oh, here we have this guy. He can't really do anything. Right? Yeah, that's that's basically it about that spec. Um, nothing special anymore here. Uh, you can use those cheap items, you can use Death Store, you can use a um, very cheap rare shield. You don't need an expensive shield like the Surrender, which will be almost impossible to get next patch, I think. Additionally, next patch, rare shields will be much better, because the, there are new stats on shields, like you can also get life recovery on block on rare shields, you get much more life, you can get resistances, and so on. So altogether, uh, this shield will be out next patch, basically. You can use Empire's Grasp, because you use Lion's Roar for that very nice damage buff and adds knockback. And with Empire's Grasp you're actually sucking the enemies in and uh, if they're stacked close together, one blows up with a blood explosion, they all die and they cannot run away. This is really cool, I like that. Other options you can have, you can also use Sunder with that spec and you have noticed this is an axe, I crafted that, it was a complete waste of currency, but whatever, it works. And this is a mace and you can use any weapon that suits your will you can even use something like cleave or whatever because there's not a single skill point on that tree that grants damage based on the weapon that you have the only well limited 
effect uh, or, or damage buff that is limited to something is when is those here for uh, damage that you get when using a shield. But other than that, you're totally free to use whatever you like. You could even go for full elemental conversion stuff. And so, yeah, that's very enjoyable. There's a lot of options in that build to be had. And I like it. Remember it for the league start next patch. This is going to be good. It's going to be much better than it is right now. And um, I will do that. I will play that. I will enjoy it a lot. Right. Um, yeah, that's about it. Enjoy that build if you want. And if not, whatever. No one cares really. See ya.